They didn't go far, did they? Hello everybody and welcome to the Hunter Gatherer channel. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. It's uh, May 8th, 2022. And uh, I guess the queen mother decided she wasn't staying cooped up in that uh, hive anymore. And uh, out she came with a whole bunch of daughters and probably some sons. We got home from church today and I saw a whole bunch of bees flying over the, the fence. Came back and there was actually two swarms back here with a like a secondary swarm. So I'm guessing two boxes swarmed and then there was a secondary. Um, decided I would eat lunch real quick. And then the neighbor texted me and said, hey, there's a swarm over here. I thought, crap, there's another. Well, the one swarm that I thought was the one that was gonna stay put the, the best, decided they would up and leave and they're a lot higher now. They were waist high before, now they're about 15 feet high. We're gonna work on trying to get this uh, this swarm out of this tree. The game plan is to pull this branch down slowly, snip it. Let's see if you can see where I'm talking about. Snip it right there and uh, put them in a in front of a box. I'm gonna put a sheet down and that way possibly I can find the queen and cage her and get her to stay put for a few days while they do some work and then maybe they'll they'll stay around got my clean clip I got some uh, pruners now we're just going to see if we can gently pull them down oh see if we can trim the ends up a little bit first. Maybe I'll try a piece at a time. doesn't go flinging on me. Real gentle. Ooh. Not as gentle as I had hoped. I got a sting on my hand <laughs> and I don't want to get too many more so they're not so happy about me messing with them. I went and got the jacket and the gloves. Let's see if I can get it down there close enough to the hive and give it a good little shake, get them on the sheet.
I can smell her. All I can smell is like a lemongrass smell right now. And they are fanning like crazy. So I'm just scanning it and trying to find her. See if you can see her. So the queen gives off a pheromone that smells like lemongrass oil. And uh, I smelled her a couple of different times. And the first time I smelled her down here, so when we did that shake, she dropped. And then I didn't smell it very much after a little bit. And when I was putting the frame up there that has bee scent on it, um, the first time I brought it down, I could smell that uh, lemongrass again. And so I knew she was up on the tree. And uh, about the fourth time bringing that down, she was on there and I captured her in my queen clip. And I only have one of these. I used to have a couple of plastic ones and they broke and this is the only metal one. I gotta order a couple more. Um, but after I captured her, I put her in one of these. It's got a clip uh, closure on the one end. On the other end, you can put candy in and uh, they'll chew through it after a little while but I taped it off so she can't and I put her in there and about six uh, worker bees and they'll tend to her while she's in there and feed her and such uh, I'm gonna leave her in that little uh, cage for about two or three days but now that she's not up on the tree that uh, lemongrass oil smell the queen pheromone is going to slowly dissipate and so the bees that are up there they smell it right now, so they're looking for her. But the bees that are down here know she's in the hive, and they're going to start releasing a pheromone that says, hey, this is home. So 
I'm gonna just, I know she's in there. I know they're not gonna go anywhere without her. They will slowly make it in their box and uh, I'll close it up tonight and I'm gonna move them uh, down to uh, just halfway across the yard, get them in a different location. Uh, and then two or three days from now, I'm gonna release the queen uh, once the bees have been flying out and putting nectar and pollen into the hive. So that's uh, one of the Mother's Day swarms. Um, there may be another video coming up that's uh, the next one. I'm gonna go check that tree and just see if they're uh, retrievable. And then I gotta go through all these hives and see who swarmed and what's going on. So that's gonna be it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, just a little bit of an idea on how to catch a swarm. And it would definitely be better if uh, they weren't swarming. So that's why I'm gonna get in here and see what I can give them if they need a new box or more boxes or whatever. Um, because usually they swarm when they're overcrowded. So I'm gonna go take a look at that. If you wanna see some more of these videos, let me know in the comments if you enjoy them. And uh, hit the like, uh, share, and subscribe buttons if you would, um, if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, just wanna let you know, we love you, God loves you, and we'll see you on the next one. And happy beekeeping. And if you see a swarm, call a beekeeper. They'd uh, love to come pick it up. See you later.